Hello! Good day to all of you! Our topic for the discussion today is all about circle. First of all, we need to define what is the meaning of circle. Circle is a set of coplanar points such that the distance from a fixed point is constant. The fixed point is called the center of the circle and the constant distance from the center is called radius. Standard form of the equation of the circle are the following. Number 1, center at origin or 0, 0. The standard form will be x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. While the center at h and k, the standard form will be quantity x minus h squared plus quantity y minus k squared is equal to r squared. The general form of the equation of the circle will be, will be x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to 0. Let us try to answer the following examples. Example number 1. Determine the standard form of the equation of the circle given its center and radius. Draw its graph. So letter A, the center is 0, 0, and the radius is equal to 5. What is the standard form of the circle if the center is at origin or at 0, 0? The standard form is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So what we are going to do is just simply substitute the value of the radius which is 5. So it will give us x squared plus y squared is equal to 5 squared. So this will be our standard form. Let us try to draw, uh, to draw its graph. So in graphing uh, a circle, the first thing that we need to do is to locate its center. So the center is at origin or at 0, 0. So this is the center. Then after that, we are going to count the units of the radius, which is 5. So we are going to count 5 times. What is the direction? It's either upward, downward, left, or right. Okay? Again, from the center, we are going to count how many times? Five times. It's either upward, downward, left, or right. In constructing a circle, we need to use a compass. So how are we going to, uh, to draw a circle using a compass? So the metal pointed part, you are going to locate it in the center. Then you are going to locate the pencil part in the radius in, a, uh, in any direction. It can be upward, downward, left, or right then just simply rotate the compass so this is the graph of our equation which is x squared plus y squared is equal to 5 squared let's move on letter b the center is negative 4 and 3 and the radius is equal to 4 so obviously, the center is not at origin. So what is the standard form? The standard form is quantity x minus h squared plus quantity y minus k squared is equal to r squared. So what we are going to do is substitute the value of the center and the value of the radius. So in, uh, in our given, the h is the the negative 4 and the k is the 3. Let us do the substitution. So, x minus negative 4, this is, this is our h squared plus y minus 3 squared is equal to 4 squared. Let us simplify the sign. 
So, it will give us x plus 4 squared. Because negative times negative, that is positive. Plus y minus 3 squared is equal to 4 squared. So, this is our standard form. Let us try to draw its graph. Again, what is the first step in uh, graphing or drawing the circle? First of all, we need to locate the center. So, the center is negative 4 and 3. That is located in the second quadrant. We are going to, uh, to count neg uh, negative uh, 4 times to the left of the x-axis, then 3 times upward to the y-axis. So, as you can see, this is the origin. We have, uh, this is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Then, this is 1, 2, 3. So, that is the center. Negative 4 and 3. So, coming from the center, what is the next step? We are going to count the units of radius. So, the radius is 4. We are going to count how many times? 4 from the center. It's either upward, downward, left, or right. So, using the compass, we are going to locate the metal pointed part in the center. Then, we are going to locate the pencil in any uh, position of the radius. Then, just simply rotate the compass. It will give us this um, illustration. So, this is the graph of the equation of the circle, which is... Um, x plus 4 squared plus y minus 3 squared is equal to 4 squared. As easy as that. Let's move on. Let us try letter C. The center is at 0 and negative 3 and the radius is equal to 7. So again, the center is not at the origin. So what is the standard form? That is quantity x minus h squared plus quantity y minus k squared is equal to r squared. What is the next step? We are going to substitute the value of the center and the radius. This is our h, this is our k, then this is our radius. Let us substitute. So we have um, x minus 0 squared plus y minus negative 3 squared is equal to 7 squared. So, x minus 0, that is x. So, that is only x squared plus, so negative times negative, that is y plus 3 squared is equal to 7 squared. So, this is our standard form. Okay? Let's draw its graph. What is the first step in drawing its graph? We are going to locate its center. So, the center is 0 and negative 3. Where is it? That is in the y-axis downward. So, we are going to count how many times? 3 times downward. So, from the center, this is our center. We are going to count how many times? 3 times. So, negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. So, that is the position of our center. Then, after that, what is the next step? We are going to count the units of the radius. What is the radius? The radius is 7. So, we are going to count how many times? 7 times. What direction? It's, it can be upward, downward, left, or right. Coming from the center. So, using our com uh, compass... What are we going to do? We are going to put the uh, metal pointed uh, metal uh, pointed part in the center. Then the pencil will be in any position of the radius. Then just simply rotate your compass. It will give us this illustration. So this is the graph of the equation of the circle with the equation x squared plus quantity y plus 3 squared is equal to 7 squared. Don't forget that. Let's move on. Example number 2. 
write the equation of a circle in general form. This time around, we are going to write the general form with center at negative 1 and negative 6 and radius is equal to 8. What is, what is the general form of the circle? The general form of the circle is x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to 0. So, coming from the given, we need to have this equation. How are we going to do that? Um, we are going to substitute the center and the radius from the um, standard form. What is the standard form? That is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. So, the upper part, that is the general form. The lower part, that is the standard form. We are asked to find the general form. So, but uh, the first step is we need to substitute the given into standard form. Let us substitute. So, the standard form, it will give us x plus 1 squared plus y plus 6 squared is equal to 8 squared. So, to have the general form, we need to simplify uh, the standard form. So, x plus 1 squared plus y plus 6 squared is equal to 8 squared. Let us simplify. So, x plus 1 squared, it will be the same as x plus 1 times x plus 1 plus y plus 6 squared, that is y plus 6 times y plus 6 is equal to what is 8 squared that is 64 using the foil method um, we will be having x times x that is x times x that is x squared then x times 1 that is plus x, 1 times x, that is x, then 1 times 1, that is 1, plus, this is y squared, plus 6y, plus 6y, plus 36 is equal to 64. Then simplify this into this form, into the general form. We will be having now the general form. Let us combine the similar terms. So x squared plus 2x plus y squared plus 12y plus the constant. 1 plus 36 so it should be equal to 0 we are going to transpose the const that the constant 64 here it will give us negative 64 equal to 0 then let us just follow the general form which is what is the first term that is x squared so x squared followed by y squared plus y squared then followed by x which is plus 2x followed by y which is plus 12y and then followed by f which is the constant so neg 1 plus 36 minus 64 that is 20 so, that is minus 27. Okay? Is equal to 0. 
So the general form will be x squared plus y squared plus 2x plus 12y minus 27 is equal to 0. So this will be our this will be our general form. So that's all for our lesson for today about circle. Thank you. Goodbye. Have a nice day.